Node.js is a JavaScript framework made to create front-end application. Node.js has been built on top of Vue.js, a bit like Next.js for React. And there's a lot of features that help us to develop faster and that improve our developer experience. So when you go on Nux.com, the official documentation, we see now that we are on the version 3 of Nux. Because yes, Vue switched recently to the version 3. So Nux had to update its latest version. So when we click on Get Started, we arrive on the introduction page. But for us, we are going to go directly on Installation. And we are going to go down. And here we see that we have a command npx nuxy init project name. So I'm going to copy paste that, go into my terminal. I'm going to give a name. So it's going to be my next project. And there we go. My project has been installed. The first thing we can notice when we arrive in this next project, and if you already did some Vue.js before, is that it's really light. There's only six uh, files at first. So when we are going to type npm install, we're gonna have our node modules. However, we don't have the folders that we have on view free. For instance, on view free, we get the source folder. We can have the public and assets, okay? With Nuxt, it works a bit the same. However, the difference is that we will not have any source folder at first. We will have to create our own folders, page, component, etc., etc. And it's going to work like this because Nuxt is providing to us a file routing system that works on the um, organization of our folders. It will automatically create our routes. And another thing that is really cool is that with Nuxt.js, it's going to auto import our components. So we will not have to import all of this, but we are going to see that in the next lesson. Type npm install to npm install our project. Then we are going to type npm run dev to just launch it in, your, in our browser and to look at it at first. Okay, this is done. And the first thing we can notice is that we have a node module folder and we also have this point next folder. Yarn dev or npm run dev, it depends. And here I'm going to open my localhost 3000. And there we go, we've got our application running which is actually this next welcome only. So our application is now set up. We can use it directly like this. If you want it, you can deploy it from now. It will work um, as it's supposed to work. And what we're gonna do at first is just to remove this and put hello next free because we don't need that uh, component. All right, our app has been created, but it's totally empty. The first thing I'm gonna do is to add a bit of configuration because yes, with Nux.js, we have a nux.config.typescript or JavaScript file that can help us to provide some configuration. So we have a method called um, define Nux config that receive an object. And in this object, we can pass several elements. Um, the topic of this course is not to talk about the configuration. The topic of this course is just to create an app. However, I'm going to do a bit of configuration at first before we start the course in order to follow every step. So the first thing I'm gonna add, it's an alias. This alias will help me actually to catch some elements directly from the source. But you are going to say to me, Guillaume, you talked before about uh, the auto import feature. Auto import is working for pages and components and some other folders, but not necessarily for everything. So we will necessarily need an alias. So this alias will be an at, okay? And here I'm going to say, hey, I need the path of uh, my current uh, project and I want to be at the root. So I'm going to import uh, resolve from pass up there. All right. And here I'm going to resolve uh, a pass. So I'm going to start with dear name. And here it's going to be just the, uh, uh, so the source, the root actually of my source. Okay. So now when I'm going to type at everywhere in my app, it will resolve directly the dear name. So the dear name, which is actually the, the root of my folder. And I will be able to uh, catch anything and to import dynamically. Uh, every element of my project. Another thing is that I want to add a CSS file because we don't have any style in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a folder directly, which will be assets. And in these assets, I will add a main dot 
CSS, if you want to add a CSS, it's okay. Me personally, I'm going to add SCSS. What I need to do now, it's to install SAS because SAS is not installed. So I'm going to type npm install SAS and I'm going to launch again the project. And what I want to do, I want that this main.css file would be actually root style sheet of my project. So what I can do is to type CSS and CSS actually it's an array. So I'm going to specify on this nux.config.ts that I want to have one file as a CSS uh, root file. You can have many other because it's an array. So here I'm going to add assets main.scss. To uh, check if it's working, I'm going to add a body and here it's going to, to be color red. And when I get back, there we go. We see that I have the color red apply. So it is working, it is applying my SCSS. Finally, for the need of this course, I'm going to install Tailwind CSS. So I go on Tailwind CSS on Get Started, then I click on Framework Guides. There I click on Nux.js, and I go on the version three because here we are on the version two. So here we arrive there and we see that we have to install Tailwind CSS in our terminal. So I'm going to copy paste this, going back there, I'm going to stop, npm install Tailwind CSS, there we go. Then I need to um, init my file, so I'm going to type npx Tailwind CSS init. Then we need to specify to nux.config.js to use post CSS and Tailwind. So I'm going to copy paste this and I get back there. And just after my configuration, I'm going to add post CSS plugins, etc, etc. All right. Then finally, what I need to do also, it's to add actually to the uh, tailwind.config.js right now, which is almost empty. It's to add here um, the content file that I need to watch. So let's have a look on this. I'm just going to copy paste and we're going to look at it. We will watch for components. So there will be a components folder. We will watch for layouts because they can be a layouts folder also. Pages, which will be the pages of our uh, project. Plugins, but also for the nuxt.config.ts and of course the app.view. So now it's done. What we need to do is to add uh, those elements, tailwind base, component and utilities to our main.scss. And we already imported it to our project, remember, just up there on the CSS line there. So when I get down, it's telling us to do it, but we already did it. And now let's run again our project and let's see if it's going to work. And when I get back to uh, localhost 3000, there we go. I think it's working because the font has changed. And if I go to the network on main.scss, we see that Tailwind is clearly imported. If you want to get this starter project, you can go on my GitHub and down there you got the Nux free Tailwind starter. And when you click on it, you have the full repository available that you can clone directly. Finally, we are ready to follow this course and to learn how to create a front end application with Nux free.